Coming up this week on UB Football Insider, the Bulls come to Muncie, Indiana and get a huge win over the Ball State Cardinals. That means they are still alive for bowl eligibility, and it all comes down to Friday's game at home against Ohio, 1 o'clock at UB Stadium. This week on the show, we'll have our top 10 plays, our Karuba collisions, but we get it started with a day in the life of Bulls wide receiver K.J. Osborne. Good morning, guys. I'm KJ Osborne, wide receiver for the UB Bulls. It's about 7 a.m. We're gonna get dressed, go head over to morning workouts. Let's have a good day. Try to get something in my system, and we have weigh-ins today, so I gotta make sure I'm at my, my right weight. I'm, I'm walking over to Lyft. They're, um, they're doing a day in the life about me today. Are you coming to call your mama? Yeah, I usually call you in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm about to head in here. You know, they're building the indoor. That's something we've been hoping and praying for for a long time. So it's pretty cool to see progress. Got the bleachers knocked down. Looks like they're moving well every day. So that's always good to see when we come in, in the stadium. Ooh. With great responsibility okay. comes great power. Okay. 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 With great responsibility yeah. comes great power. Yeah. Okay. Hey, let's out work, man. Let's go. I work on two. I work on two. One, two. I Come in here, and you guys dominate and stuff like that today. So, with that, take this out to practice, all right? Take this juice, this energy, because it's contagious, all right? Hey, get a break and get out of here. Get it, KJ. Hey, let's win the, hey, let's win the game today at practice, man. Let's go. Bulls on two, Bulls on two, one, two. Bulls. All right, had a good lift. We got class at nine, so we got to hustle up. Here we go. I see you. Uh, actually, we'll see you Monday. Cause okay. We have a wagon. Sounds good. Our class was good. We just watched a movie. Uh, I had to turn in a paper, write some notes. Now I'm gonna go get a little bit more to eat and then uh, head over to the stadium, get a nice bath. Got a little breakfast bowl. Got uh, egg white, sausage. I don't know what else they put in here, but it's good. They put uh, LeBron at point guard yesterday. Triple double, right? Almost, yeah. I don't know, yeah, 34, 13, and three, and two. I think he had two rebounds. So maybe he was like, he usually get way more rebounds than that, don't he? What's up, what's up, what's up? Yeah, something a little day in the life, you okay. If I got, if I got CJ, Nick, you know. Me and Nick, we grew up in the same town, Ypsilanti. No, we come from the same. 734, this is my guy CJ. You ready, guy? Class was good, just going over communication, like technology and communication. We just came off a test, so we should get back, get that back on like Friday. So um, it was good, smooth, nice 50 minute class, wasn't too long. So now we're gonna um, head over to the stadium and get ready for practice. All right, we're flowing, we can hand it to KJ. Then you gotta read the block, right? If we crack and we kick out, it might hit it inside, all right? Your boss going backside, all right? Some more tape inside the tight end, come back out a little bit. Basically, you got to get to whatever you need to do on the motion to be in a position to be inside out and make the block. You got to pour it all in here, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, mentally Friday, to get what we you need on Saturday, and then you're going to get it back. All right, let's have a great Wednesday. Now. That thing pissed out me on all the way up. Oh. 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 
Practice, got a little extra work in, got an ice bath, got my legs right. I'm gonna go fill my body at C3, get some food in. Usually, what I tell myself is try to eat what I wouldn't want to eat at home. So my mom makes a whole bunch of vegetables, I wouldn't want it. Get that. Because that's how I've been eating, you know, give me uh, energy, you know, to keep my body going. But I can't eat a lot of things, a lot of stuff I can eat around here that wouldn't really be good for my body. So I just try to get something that I know my mom will make at home. You ain't been to a new setup, have you? Nah, bro. What's up with it? Hey, Ladarius. What's up with it? Whoa! You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a crazy setup, ain't it? We got Mario Kart on the big flat screen TV, and y'all didn't want to come through. But look here, you know how good at Mario Kart no way, so I don't know why you bringing it up. The only good thing you did is battle. <laughs> Both of them just laugh because they know you just lie like that. Don't ever lie like that no more. Every time, him and Jerry be the main ones losing, they always want to start the whole thing over. And then, like, we going to forget. Yeah, it's like, like, Jerry, he didn't talk trash to you. And we'll be like, we'll be like, we'll be like Jerry. We know who won the last one, but that doesn't count anymore. We started over. Are we just supposed to forget who was dominating? Come on. All right, bro. Well, it's been a long day. Lift, practice, meetings, class. I'm gonna go in here and try to get some rest. This is KJ Osborne, number eight, UB football. This has been a day in the life. Coming up, KJ Osborne is back, and he takes you on a tour of the updated UB football facility. That's next on UB Football Insider. It's the final home game for UB football on Friday, November 24th, when the Bulls host Mac Rival Ohio, presented by Western New York Dental. Kickoff is at 1 p.m. Spend the afternoon with the Bulls, and as a token of appreciation for the 716 community, all tickets will be just $14. There's no better way to spend Black Friday than with family and friends cheering on your Buffalo Bulls. For tickets and more information, call 877-UB-THERE or visit ubbulls.com. Welcome back to UB Football Insider. This segment is presented by Seth Q, changing lives every day. Hey guys, it's KJ Osborne, number eight, wide receiver for UB Bulls. We're here at the stadium, we'll give you a tour inside the stadium of our new renovated facilities. Let's go. We always have our goal on the wall, what, what we're trying to achieve, um, that's to be MAC champs. So we got it set up and um, different sections, so we got linebackers, quarterbacks, um, how we come through here. We got our names on there, where we're from. This is new up here, so our Buffalo Bulls. Um, we got that, Coach Lipo got that for us, set up nice. Um, we got some new lights, as you can see, like the blue lighting at the top, and that can actually change colors. A lot of people don't know that. This is my locker right here, and they got you know where I'm from on here. Nice place you can hang your helmets, shoulder pads. Um, actually under here, I can show you. So these just come off like that. Um, I got some of my favorite players in here. Um, Mari Cooper, um, E.G. Green, I was my high school coach, and Tyra Matthew. 
a lot of people. He's a defensive player, but you know, I just I love the way he plays the game. So um, I got some of these guys in my locker to show, you know, remind me every day. During this offseason, we we're trying to find words that represent our program. So some of them were um, relentless, commitment, and pride. So we got um, we got those up here to remind us every day. Um, we call it RCP. You know, where we break down to things like that. We we're trying to get uh, some words that just describe our program and what we want to be seen as. So we're able to put those up throughout the locker room, which is pretty cool. And I think it gives guys like you know a reason to come in here. You know, we can relax. You know, we can be at home, have fun. You know, this is like our area where we can you know bond. Like it's what it is what the locker room is. So we're gonna head in here to the um, to the training facility, the sports medicine facility. They have it all in here uh, to get your body right. So. It's really appreciated for, that we have this here. So in here, like I said, guys come in here before practice, um, in the morning treatments, um, you know, come in here, get tape. We have all, all the tables you need, um, doctors and great trainers and um, student trainers, everybody knows what they're doing here. You have the cold tubs, you got the hot tub, The uh, there's a whirlpool thing with a treadmill in there. So everything you need to get your body right so that you can perform, the great athletic trainers, and we, we appreciate it. They're here, they stay after for us, um, getting extra work. It's really helpful. I mean, lighting in here is beautiful. The off the line room, I, I really like this room. It's pretty cool. Um, like I said, we got relentless commitment pride, some of the things that we talk about. Um, you know, we got the projectors here, the boards, uh, all, this, all these new graphics are new, um, going into all the position rooms. You know, we all can fit in here, go over the game plan, and all the all the meeting rooms have this. Like I said, all these pictures are new. Um, they just got here, so it's pretty cool to see the, the time and the money and stuff that they invest in us. Out here in the hallway, we got our fight song, you know, up on the wall, and it's kind of like the outline of a bull. Uh, this is new, this is pretty cool. We got uh, the fight song here on the wall. We got the nice bull head right here. Um, this is something new that's pretty cool that, you know, that can attract people visitors, recruits, things like that. Now I'm gonna take you guys into our team room. You know, we got some new designs in there, new faces. This is, this is pretty cool, I'm excited. So in here, none of this used to look like this. Um, you know, we got the wood going right here. You know, we got our bulls with the big Nike sign in the middle, which is pretty cool. Um, we got the bull logo over here. Um, you know, so then we watch film. The projector comes down from this. We can watch film, that's, that's really nice. Uh, the words on here say all for one, it wraps around. As you can see, it says like all for one. You know, it's a group picture before a game. Um, so we thought that was pretty cool. That's one of our things, you know, with Solo and, and with the team, just all for one, just being, being together. It's a nice, I love this picture right here. Uh, I guess I'm biased, because that's, that's me. That is, a, I like that picture, you know, it kind of like, sparks the room. Uh, these lights can go down, I can show you in a minute, and it's like, it's like a really blue like outline, which is really cool, that comes down. So it gives you like the blue, the blue outlining um, around the room. So this is definitely pretty cool. New things like this it make it cool for team bonding. Um, you know, again, like I said, like this is our room. So it makes it feel like, you know, they care about us, they're doing their part. So we go out there and do our part on the field. So. It's cool, we appreciate it. It was a big day here at Schumann Stadium for KJ Osborne. Five catches, 76 yards, and he ran in a 16-yard touchdown. It's the Bulls and the Ohio Bobcats this coming Friday, a 1 o'clock kickoff at UB Stadium. And again, if the Bulls win, they'll be 6-6 six and six and have a chance to go to a bowl. We've got much more coming up on UB Football Insider. Welcome back to UB Football Insider. This segment is presented by Town BMW, the official auto partner of UB Athletics. Welcome back to UB Football Insider from here at Schumann Stadium on the campus of Ball State University following the Bulls' big 40-24 win over the Cardinals. It was a huge game here. Big plays for Anthony Johnson, more big yards for Tyree Jackson. Maybe some of what they did here at this game will make our season-long Top 10 Plays. It's time for the Top 10 Plays of the Season, brought to you by ECMC. The difference between healthcare and true care. Number 10. 
Shotgun snap, hand off up the middle. Emmanuel Reed got a hole at the 35, at the 40, 45 in the open at the 50. There he goes, Emmanuel Reed at the 30, at the 20, and slides down at the 17, 18 yard line. Nice cut in the backfield, and that's a big, big hitter. Number nine. Second and six, handoff to Cleveland, the running back. And again, as he breaks through a hole, he gets grabbed from behind by Justin Brandon and spins down. Did that ball come out? The Bulls say it did. The ball was taken from the offensive player prior to him being down. First down, Buffalo. Justin Brandon literally ripped the ball right out of the running back's hands. Number eight. Rhoda awaits the shotgun snap. He gets it in the pocket, throws the fade, end zone intercepted. Picked off by the Bulls, Cameron Lewis with the interception in the end zone. Great positioning by Cameron Lewis, who read that fade all the way, had inside position, and then went up and high-pointed the ball, brought it down. A huge play for Buffalo to deny the Gophers points here at the end of the first half. Number seven. Shotgun snap to Tyree, stands in the pocket. He is rushed, rolls out to his left, steps away, hangs it up deep downfield. AJ's got it at the 20, 15, 10, five, bullseye! It's the fourth touchdown catch of the game for Anthony Johnson. Tyree Jackson makes a big play by buying time, escaping pressure, and no one pays attention to the best receiver in the conference, and he gets the easy walk-in touchdown. Number six. First and 10 for the Broncos from the Buffalo 39. Play action. Wasink in the pocket. Fires a deep ball and it's intercepted. Khalil Hodge dropping in the zone, goes up the ladder and pulls it in for his first career interception. Huge play there by Khalil Hodge who had dropped back into zone coverage. Number five. Shotgun snap. Tyree faked the handoff. Back in the pocket. Look it, look it. Throws it up. Deep downfield, got a wide open receiver, it's caught! It's a Buffalo touchdown! Bar none, that's a bull score for Antonio Nunn! Too much speed, Tyree Jackson gets great protection from the front five, has all day and lost a perfect pass in there. A pretty, pretty play for Buffalo to take a two possession lead. Number four. Third and goal from the two under center. Anderson fakes the handoff, rolls to the right, he's pressured. Now he runs away, he's at the five, he scores! Drew Anderson scores the touchdown! Pure magic from Drew Anderson today. Everything he's done has turned to goal. He's thrown it a million times into the end zone. He's run it in, he's caught the conversion. What a day. Number three. Shotgun snap, handoff, Reed running wide to the left side. No, it's a quarterback keeper, Drew Anderson at the 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50 yard line, 40 yard line, and finally brought down at the Kent State 34 yard line. How did he do it? Drew Anderson, masterful ball work as he gets all the way over midfield. Number two. It's third and three from their own 25-yard line and need to get a first down. Quarterback draw, Tyree going to have the first down, running up the middle, breaks a tackle, the 35 at the 40. There he goes, 40-yard line, 30-yard line, running out of gas at the 20, at the 10, at the 5. Bullseye! It's a Tyree Jackson 75-yard touchdown! Fire the cannons! What a play by Tyree Jackson. They spread the Army defense out. They go four wide, and no one left home in the middle of the field. A great move by Tyree about 10 yards down the field. He was in the open field and never looked back. Number one. Second down and 10 from the 25. Bulls must have a touchdown to tie. Fake the handoff. Anderson hangs it up deep into the end zone. Jump ball caught. Touchdown! Anthony Johnson with the touchdown grab. We're an extra point away from tying it up again. You can't stop Anthony Johnson. Coming up, catch the Karuba collisions from Thursday night's game at Ball State. UB Football Insider returns in a moment. 
For nearly 100 years, ECMC has brought hope and healing to Western New York. I'm living proof, and I couldn't be more grateful. Like cancer, we all hope trauma will never happen to us. But when it does, we can rely on ECMC to always be there. I hope you join me to be there for them and help them build their new state-of-the-art trauma center and emergency department. Visit supportecmctrauma.org to help learn how you can support life-saving care. This is UB Football Insider, presented by ECMC, the difference between healthcare and true care. Welcome back to UB Football Insider from here at Ball State University following the Bulls' big win over the Cardinals. Big day for the defense. Khalil Hodge, 12 tackles. Chuck Harris, a career-high 13 tackles and a sack. Let's see if they're included in this week's Karuba Collisions. Here are this week's Karuba Collisions. Second down and seven yards to go. All the receiver goes in motion, fake to him on the jet sweep. Rush, ball comes out, it's a Buffalo sack. Do the Bulls have the football? Hodge who came in on the blitz untouched. No one even looked at him. First and 10 from the 21 yard line, shotgun snap. Miles in the pocket, swings it out to Malik Dunner. There are four Bulls there. And number four is the guy that just plasters Malik Dunner for a loss of two. Fourth and 10, here comes Harris again. He's got the sack. Way to go, Chuck Harris on a career night. Finally gets his first sack of the night and his fourth sack of the year. Check out the Bulls on social media and choose your favorite Karuba Collision of the Week. Well, thanks for watching this week's edition of UB Football Insider following an exciting Bulls victory over the Ball State Cardinals that puts them in a position to go to a bowl game. They have to beat Ohio this Friday, a 1 o'clock kickoff at UB Stadium. That'll make the Bulls 6-6 six and six and put them in the mix to have another game, a bowl game, for just the third time in school history. We'll see if it all happens Friday at UB Stadium. We thank you for watching this edition of UB Football Insider. Insider.